If you're noticing algae in your animal's bowls, you need to check this out. We found on Amazon this automatic watering bowl for our animals. It's made of stainless steel and it prohibits the growth of algae. I will be leaving the link in the description below, so those of you guys who would like to raise the quality of your animal's life, you should definitely go check one of these out. We love it. It's only about $50, $60. You should definitely do it. It's worth the investment. It's going to save you money in the long run. And it's not just for dogs, cows, cats, horses, goats, whatever you got, you should check it out. Hey, what's going on, peeps? So uh, this is uh, algae in a dog bowl. That's not okay. These dogs, they gotta keep them safe. If you don't clean out the algae out of these bowls, which some of them are really hard to do, as you guys can see, you'll realize, this, this algae is really bad for dogs. It can cause them to have seizures. It, it's just not good. All right, grab yourself a three eighths little bit hole thingy. We're gonna go that way with it. So you're gonna take the actual like bowl itself and it's got two holes in the back and uh, line it up wherever you're gonna wanna line it up at, whatever the best height is for your animal and whatever the best location is. I wanted it in a temporary location. So I'm putting it on the side of this little thing that I've got. Um, and uh, yeah, just drill your holes through once you got them marked out. These are pretty much all the parts that come with this kit. And uh, it's got these, sc this screw system here. I love it. It works really, really well, but you gotta make sure that you put it together right. You got the bowl, you got the little bobby thingy, and hose, yep, yep. Pick those up too, don't forget those little things. Yep, yep, you gotta use those. All right, so this is that screw thing that I was talking about. It's a countersink screw, I believe, or something like that. And um, you want to make sure that you put this in this way, where it kind of pushes it open. You want to use your washer as well. I started with putting this little bobber thing piece, I don't know, I'm sure it has a name, inside of the bowl. And then you take the little plastic ring and just kind of hands tighten it on there. Sure, you could use a tool, but it stays pretty tight with just by hand, so. There's the bobber, the bobber kind of, that's how it works, it lifts up and down, and that kind of stops the water from coming in and out. You'll see later. So we'll go ahead and put the, uh, the bolts through there. Um, we're gonna basically have these second parts already prepared, pre-prepared, and those are gonna go into the back of our holes. And if you need to, go ahead, grab a hammer, and just kind of pound them in until they're flush. Now all you gotta do is line up the bolt to the holes, stick the little bolts it through, and give them a little twisty. And it is a little bit hard to do, you'll have to get your fingers in there, or if you're lucky enough to have a socket wrench, go ahead and use that. I had to use this needle nose pliers because that's all I've got right now. And once that's good and tight, you're pretty much uh, just gonna take your little metal hose, the stainless steel hose that comes with it, hopefully comes with it. This little yellow piece makes it easy to tighten onto other hoses, so that works out really well. You can go ahead and hand tighten that onto the bowl itself where the little bobber is. And then when you're done with that, you can just grab the other end of the hose. It comes in two pieces, and you can like press them down to release the two parts it works really well and it seals nice too. This is how you're going to connect your hose to the bowl. After screwing the appropriate piece onto the stainless steel hose, you're going to take the smaller bit and plug it into your normal water hose. That's how you're going to connect the two hoses together and create a seamless little seal and really it does hold the water, I, I didn't have any issues. Get off my finger fly, what is what are you doing there? So make sure it's nice and tight, and then put it into position. That's what I had to do. You may recognize these little black piece came with it. Well, uh, it can go into the side that you're not using to plug it up so that the water doesn't drain out. I used the right side, so I plugged it into the left. Turn on your hose, and it just fills right up. I had to speed up this part of the video. It doesn't fill up that fast, but you guys get the idea. 
it really works out well. And whenever the hose is on, you can basically make it do that. It stops on its own, fills up on its own, keeps it fresh, and that is so much better for the puppies. So this will ultimately be a lot healthier for your dogs overall, and a lot cleaner. Um, no more algae or anything like that, hopefully. And, uh, just clean it out, wipe it out from time to time, you know. But uh, they're gonna thank you for it. They really, really are. And they're gonna be a lot healthier for it too. Hi. Huh? All right. Enjoy. Thank you guys for watching, and if you liked it, smash the like button. You can follow, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Special thanks to the peep who purchased this bowl. Didn't come with a note, so I'm doomed to have sweaty hands for the next five weeks. Your support's incredible, and I'll see you guys next time.